Okay, good morning. Uh, I'm Leroy Antoine, uh, uh, an interpreter for the Maccabee Fossil Site here, also an elder from the Bonaparte Indian Reserve. 51 million years ago, uh, when the climate was warmer and whatever, we had an inland lake. As the lake dis uh, disappeared, the layers were formed, uh, which left the fossils in the ground. And then a couple million years later, or 20 million years later, a volcano came along and the outcropping you see on top of the fossils are, are the volcanic material left behind. A lot of material found here basically trace that back to some of the stuff originating in China. Oh, we get a lot of uh, uh, fish, uh, fern-like leaves, uh, branches. Uh, I think there's been a couple of birds, small birds found. The, the biggest draw is they're hoping that they're able to uh, get right into the actual fossil site, which right now is restricted. So, um, but then we do have a display cabinet and uh, hands-on material uh, down at our site that they can look at and whatever. Hi, I'm Gail Carroll. I'm a Bonaparte band member from about halfway up about a 15 minute drive out of Cash Creek. The fossils are all from here. They're like 53 million years of age. They've been selected. These are the ones that are from TRU. And some are leaves and there's some trees that don't even grow here. They grow in Asia only. They're no longer, they, they're extinct in this area. This one here is a sickos. I said a leaf. Mm, this is a, a fish and I think this one over here is another fish one because of the body on it and most of them are leaves right here is a leaf and another leaf so these ones they sprayed with some kind of spray so you could touch them okay within three to five years uh, there will probably be buildings going up. Uh, there will be a tourist uh, building which will go into that mountain over here. And um, right around where those cows are into the bank. Um, and then the paleologists will have a, their own building on the south end here. And um, I think uh, that's the, two, on, the only two buildings that I know of so far. But I'm sure as time goes on, there will be additions of uh, information centers and whatever, and probably a better tours. I mean, we'll have our trails marked and and probably uh, more to please the people that do come to visit here. Um, the sign is welcoming you to our territory. Um, it. Uh, Chief of the Bonaparte Indian Band in 2007 is Mike Retasket, who took a, a great interest in this area. And then we also have some of the stewards of, of, of the land, uh, some of our elders and whatever gathering here. Some of our um, ranchers and cowboys from our Bonaparte Indian Band, which is my family, my brother Stretch and Archie. Um, there's Bert there. As you can see on the ground we have piles of stone. Uh, these are, uh, this is the site where people have chipped away and worked uh, on their, their fossil findings. And every now and then if you uh, were to dig around here you would actually find uh, some sort of fossil, whether it be a leaf or a little fish or a branch. 